So Lewis Hamilton is the 2019 world champion, his sixth world title. He's done it this weekend, like we all predicted. You only had to get four points, I think it was finished eighth or higher to win the championship. Doesn't matter where Bottas finished, is, is their nearest rival. He's done it. Amazing, an amazing job. And a very thrilling Grand Prix as well, and a very good ending as well to what it was a very I would say a very thrilling Grand Prix. The climax in Mexico was supposed to be good. It didn't really deliver. This one, however, I thought it would it, I thought it, it certainly delivered uh, on this occasion. But before I jump into the review, give my thoughts on some of the moments uh, that happened in this Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the standings for the US Grand Prix. So Bottas wins his fourth race of the season as well. Solid, solid job from him. Secure a second place in the championship as well. So very, very good job from him. Lewis Hamilton, of course, wins the world championship as well. Had a very different strategy to try and actually win this Grand Prix. Um, bearing in mind that he had to finish eighth or higher to win the championship, which is, of course, was going to happen. But, of course, Hamilton, that's not the guy who he is. He wants to win every race. So, obviously, he tried a very... Of, you know a very um, what's it called determined strategy to try and win the Grand Prix Verstappen very good job from him to finish in P3 Charles Leclerc very it was a very strange race from Ferrari they were supposed to be you know up there at the front in qualifying they had the pace in the race though it was very very all over the place Alex Albon in P5 he actually won driver of the day actual from Formula 1 of course he was he had that incident in turn 1 with Sainz went back to the back of the field had a pit stop and then of course drove all the way up to P5 good obviously good job from um, Alex Albon as well but you would expect that Daniel Ricciardo though in P6 very very good job from him we saw the old uh, Daniel Ricciardo today, today didn't we lip breaking going for the overtakes as well that's what we like to see from Daniel Ricciardo uh, the McLaren boys come home in 7th and 8th, Norris, Norris in 7th, Sainz in 8th, so very, very proud of them. Nigel Hultenberg in 9th place, and Danny Kivas rounds off the top 10. In 11th place was Sergio Perez, 12th place is Kimi Raikkonen, good job from him today as well. 13th place is Lance Stroll, 14th place is Antonio, Antonio Giovinazzi, 15th place is Roman Grosjean, 16th place is Pierre Gasly, 17th place is George Russell, 18th place, and, and of course your retirement, sorry, 18th place was K-Mag, 19th place was Robert Kubica, and 20th place was Sebastian Vettel. Now, of course, these qualifications may change from the time you do watch this, um, just in case that there's any, um, anyone that's brought in the rules or anything like that, or if there's any last-minute penalties to be dished out as well, because that has happened before. Just seeing there on the, on the live time, and Hamilton parting up in his spot as well, reserved for the 2019 World Champion. But that nearly caused, that could have caused a bit of, bit of a stir, couldn't it? If he didn't, go, of course, go on to win, to win the Grand Prix today, or even win the Championship, rather. So, of course, the Race gets underway as well. Very good start from uh, Max Verstappen as well, battling already with their uh, with the Ferrari who started in P2 as well. Sebastian Vettel, and then the Ferraris were looking a bit off, weren't they? Like Vettel didn't really put up much of a fight. Uh, Verstappen went round him, got got past him as well. Of course, that was that incident between Albon and Sainz at the start. Albon, I would say Albon and Sainz getting very very lucky that none of them got a really significant damage. I know the guys from Red Bull said that Sainz, uh, sorry. Uh, Albon got some uh, damage on his car, but it could have been, you know, big suspension failure, or it could have been, you know, tire tire puncture or anything from either driver. So very lucky that none of them, uh, both of them, got away, you know, very very lightly. But nevertheless, no penalty from either driver as well. You know, correct decision in, in my opinion. And then of course. Uh, continue on a couple of corners as well. Ferraris, you could blatantly tell how poor they were. They just couldn't get the tyres working. They were very cold, um, struggled with downforce as well. They, they were just really, really bad, weren't they? Like I said, very, very surprising to, um, to say the least. Um, my uh, Lewis Hamilton did a very superb, very, very good overtake on uh, Sebastian Vettel. I think it was in turn turn seven. I think it was turn seven, turn eight around then. So. Good, good, good overtake from him, and of course Charles Leclerc got his teammates on the straight, um, on that long straight heading towards turn eleven, I think. Um, so obviously good job from them, um, from from Leclerc, and then of course Vettel came back at him. So a nice little scrap there between the two Ferrari drivers. But yes, you could clearly tell that there was something wrong with the with the, the with the car of Sebastian Vettel. He was just nowhere, wasn't he? It was very very strange as well. And then he got overtook from uh, I think it was the Renault drivers, and then of course the um, the the Toro Rosses were on his case, and the racing points. So that's when you knew that there was something wrong. Vettel coming on the team radio saying, "Guys, I've just got no grip. These tyres aren't working at all. There's something. Well, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong." He, he said that the, um, the car made no contact. Like th there was alleged contact between the two Ferrari drivers, but Vettel said there was nothing. So he d he didn't really understand what was going on. And then of course he moved forward. In, uh, moved forward into the Grand Prix. 
our first retirement as well. A very strange one as well, wasn't it? Sebastian Vettel, suspension failure, good running just a tad wide, but we've seen a lot of people run wide at that turn nine this weekend. Um, none of them really got suspension failure, so maybe, I don't know, I think there was an extra curb put in on there somewhere, or a sausage curb, or a stopper as they're called. Um, I think there was one put there, that might have caused the damage, I don't know as of yet, I don't know what the official reason was, he might have just got too aggressive as well, or maybe, I don't know, it was a bit of a strange one wasn't it, but nevertheless, doesn't matter what, what we can say about it, he, did, he, he ended up retiring as well, parked his car, and that was Sebastian Bell out of the Grand Prix, very very strange as well. So then the first round of pit stops come around as well. Lap 14, Max Verstappen pits straight away as soon as that window opens as well. Quite surprising. Goes onto the hard compound tyres, goes out. Bottas has to respond, of course. Of course, Red Bull trying the undercut. Um, of, of course, Bottas comes in the pits straight away, comes out just ahead of Max Verstappen. Because if Bottas had stayed out for a bit longer, Verstappen would have got him. That could have been actually that actually could have been a very interesting Grand Prix. But then Hamilton, he was waiting for his pit stop. So I was like, okay, okay, Hamilton, box, box, this lap. No, I want to go longer. So off he goes again. He's on the soft tires. Uh, sorry, the medium tires at this point. The yellow mark medium tires. Um, so the pick the pit crew come out and they actually were expecting Hamilton and he didn't come in. So they were like, oh, hang on, we played this dummy loads of times this season, and now. Now it's actually happened, so well, fool on you guys, fool on you. Um, but Hamilton, of course, trying to make the one stop work. He wanted to win this Grand Prix, and that was a clear indication from that very point. Um, didn't really work out for him in the end, didn't it? Not, but nevertheless, he did try it. And of course, the second round of pit stops come round. Um, now, of course, then Hamilton pits eventually gets overtaken by his teammates, and then of course, then it happens again. Verstappen comes in. Uh, puts on a set of the softs, I think, and then of course Bottas does the same thing. He's on the set, uh, sorry, not the softs, the medium. Sorry, my bad. Um, Hamilton was was on the medium to he pits for the hards, and then of course um, the two the the two drivers I was on about before, Bottas and Verstappen, come in for the medium tires, the yellow walls, the yellow wall tires. I'm used to call them softs. I do apologise. Um, they come out, but of course Hamilton is trying to stay out. He's trying to make the, make these tires work. I think he was about ten seconds ahead of Bottas at this stage. So and then he was kind of question question. Uh, questioning the strategy like he normally does which at this point I'm like all oh, right Hamilton you know what's going on here but I think in a way I think he was a little bit worried and even I was a bit like mm, I don't maybe Mercedes maybe he, he's trying to you know he's, he's trying to be, be a bit too aggressive but you know never mind uh, but also as well I just want to quickly say on the midfield guys I have, I have spoke about the, the front guys quite a lot there was some really good battles in the midfield, wasn't there? k Mag and Daniel Kivad having a really good scrap, uh, probably about the first 10 laps in the Grand Prix. Very good from them. And of course, the big battle, of course, was my boys, McLaren, and our, and our, neighbors, our neighbors rivals in the championship and this race, Renault. I think you had um, Ricardo in Sainz, uh, Norris in Hultenburg, I believe, were uh, having a really good scrap. But, you know, back and forth, back and forth all the time. Ricardo, you know, doing what he does best, late breaking, into the corners, Old school Ricardo, in my opinion, driver of the day, and that's who that that is the driver that we are going to award driver of the day too. Not not uh, not Bottas. I mean, credit where it's due for winning the race. Not Hamilton. He won he won the championship. Brilliant mm, for me. It had to be. Well, of course not not Alex Albon because that's you expect him to go from the back up until the front because that's you know he's got the car to do it. And of course Dan Ricardo, brilliant, brilliant, you know, absolutely solid job to finish where he finished today. And of course. Right at the very end, you had uh, K-Mag, I think had a brake failure uh, with about two laps to go. D you know, commiserations, very, very disappointing. Uh, a disappointing way to finish from Haas at their home Grand Prix. The misery continues, as it does for Williams. Uh, Robert Kubica retires with a hydraulics problem, gutted from them. I mean, to be fair, they weren't really, really expecting anything. This was actually Robert Kubica's first US Grand Prix in like 13 years. He made his debut here in a practice session in 2006. For BMW Sauber, and then he never really raced because he, he missed it. He missed it in 07 because of his massive accident in Canada, and then it, it got dropped from the calendar. Then Kubica had his accident. Now he's back. So it's it's taken it take him a long time. Not the one he would have wanted. Just seeing there as well that Vettel's just gone to congrat uh, congratulate Lewis Hamilton on the World Championship win, and of course Bottas trying to do a bit of a fist bump there. That was a bit weird. Um, but yes, of course, uh, you know, good. That, that, and that's what I like from Sebastian Vettel. He's a very good, he's a very good sportsman, isn't he? Like I've seen recently, he was ha trying to have a bit of fun with the with the young kids um, 
in the paddock. I think he took his took his Mercedes cap off, put his Ferrari cap on, threw that one away. So that's what I like from Vettel as well. He's very sportsmanlike, isn't he? And so is Hamilton. But nevertheless, Hamilton, he tried and tried and tried to keep that strategy going, didn't he? He got overtook from Bottas. He, he, I think um, the previous lap before he did, uh, Hamilton defended well, good battling between those two. Bottas, set, Bottas went a bit wide, came back at him the next lap. Hamilton plonked his car in the middle of the track and Bottas... Instead of going on the, on the outside, he went on the inside, so he, he would have the inside line. He didn't need it, job done, Hamilton conceded. You could see his tyres were gone, his, his uh, hard white ball tyres were just gone. Slide all over the place, like he was driving on ice. Bottas crosses the line, good job from him. Hamilton in uh, P2, win, wins the World Championship as well for a sixth time. Max Verstappen in P3, absolutely brilliant. So obviously Lyle... Rates rate 9 out of 10. And of course he says driver of the day, driver of the day Daniel Ricciardo. Absolutely Daniel Ricciardo as well. Good job from him. Race rate 9 out of 10. I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. It was it, it had its moments, don't get us wrong, but it could, it could have been a bit more exciting as well. Throwing a bit of a start, but and the Ferraris in there as well to put a bit of pressure on Lewis Hamilton. But nevertheless, Ferrari was struggling like always. It was annoying to see once again. But like I said, Hamilton is the 2019 world champion for a sixth time in his career. Only one away from Michael Schumacher. Can he do it in 2020? I think he will. I really do think he will. But I hope that we do get a close battle next season. That We're not just having a Mercedes dominance once again. I want Ferrari, Red Bull and Mercedes all in the mix for next season. But that is the US Grand Prix. Two more races to go before the end of the season. Oh, guys, no. It can't be true. It really can't be true. But it is, unfortunately, two more races to go before the end of the season. If you have liked if you have liked this video as well and the review as well, then please drop it a like as well. Comment below your opinions of the Grand Prix. Are you happy that Hamilton's won the World Championship as well? I know a few people won't be too fond of that because they aren't fans of Hamilton in any way. So, obviously, if you're not, then don't bother commenting. But if you are a Hamilton fan or if you're just happy for Hamilton, then, of course, leave your comments uh, Leave your comments in the comment section below. And, of course, your opinions of the Grand Prix. Who's your driver of the day? Rate, your, uh, rate the race as well. And, of course, your feelings towards two more races till the end of the season. But anyways, guys, we have been there for the debate show. Thank you so much for watching as well. Go and check out our F1 debate show from yesterday if you haven't already. Got some good content coming next week as well. Like the F1 YouTube is decoded with Raz on F1. Go and check that one out when it drops on Tuesday. And of course, the F1 debate show coming out next week for a non-race week. Sad times, I know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.